Hello everyone. Today we have got uh, a very special guest. I have Teja with me. Hello Teja. Hi. Uh, Teja is a civil engineer and I think it's very interesting for the civil uh, engineering students uh, engineering students to know what is the opportunity for them in civil engineering and how they can prepare. So Teja is the uh, assistant uh, training uh, mm -hmm. manager in uh, Strata Geo. So Teja please tell me uh, you know what is the latest industry in the industry you know what is the latest in, uh, for a civil engineer and what is the opportunity for a civil engineer. First, I would like to start, you know, civil engineer who are coming from colleges, huh. they have to look in two directions, one buildings and the infrastructure projects. So currently infrastructure is in very good mm. shape and yes. you, are, you are getting so many opportunities. Buildings are also growing and you can say that infrastructure is the way forward and we as a company, Strata Geosystems, are into infrastructure. See, no matter how the economy is going, roads have to be built, metros has to be yes. built. So there's a huge opportunity and... Uh, oh, so that's nice to hear. So there's a lot of opportunity in uh, construction, uh, infrastructure is definitely going to boom in India. True. So that's very, uh, so they have a lot of opportunity. I would like to add one point. Huh. See, population is growing everywhere. Yes. So civil engineers all in demand every time. All right. So it, it is not going to come down yes. so we are going to get in demand and it's a great thing that you all has chosen civil engineering all right so you know uh, so there's a lot of uh, demand and opportunity but however so having said this we find that a lot of students don't get into their core uh, area you know so anything you know why is that that you know a lot of engineers are not picked up uh, in campus or is it it's a little difficult for them or sometimes it's a salary issue also so if you could just uh, tell us you know uh, uh, what the engineers should be preparing and uh, why is it that you know many of them are not absorbed uh, I'll tell you the reason, the biggest problem is because industries when they come for hiring, they'll try to pick up the best talent, the mm -hmm. most talented people or the smartest ones. Yes. And I've taken the toppers and taken to the industry, they can't survive in a situation where you have to work under sun, 40 degree sun for 10 hours straight away, right. every day. Okay. And the tough people who might not be the toppers in the college are not being picked. There's a there's a mismatch between All the right. industry and the college. All right. So the smart people are already performing. The guys who are who may not be smart enough, but if if they have a hard working attitude, and I can say that if they get into industry, they are going to boom a lot. Or right. if they get one year experience, they might be struggling in initial stages. All right. They won't be picked because they didn't have good skills. But I can say the project managers mm. everywhere. I've seen big companies in India. Mm. The project managers everywhere are not the toppers mm -hmm. or the last benchers or middle people who are like you know they work their hard through okay and actual toppers end up going to mtech out of india or you know teaching okay, okay. so if you are doing not so great in civil engineering mm -hmm. if you are a little low in your marks don't worry if you pick yourself up if you want to work hard and if you get any job which you could get your hands on experience is money in civil engineering like all right with experience you'll get great all hikes. right so they should not be very particular about uh, the package initially is yeah, that? absolutely, yeah absolutely absolutely and the reason is because most civil engineering is not so organized just like your uh, the in software, industry software yeah. you know factories yeah. there you will have a scale people working in a closed environment and you are paying them in proper money you know 20000 30000 but in civil engineering, they may make you work on a remote location. Nobody might yes. not notice that you're working. So they tend to decrease the salaries for civil engineers who are starting their careers. All right. So initial salaries might be less. All right. But what I can promise is if you have the right talent, if you know the work, salary is not a power because the reason why I have visited this campus and you know taking people and training is because there is a need of skilled civil engineers. True. I can tell you a 10 year software engineer with experience will have some basic knowledge mm. but that might be missing in civil engineers mm. because it's so unorganized people sitting in 10 years didn't learn anything. Mm. So if you learn quickly mm. and if you have an ability to learn you can get great salaries. Don't just good look at the picture of starting salary okay. is very low. All right. So don't bother about the initial salary. If you are getting a core job, I think they should take it up. They should take it. And then work their way through. And like you were sharing earlier, I think that was very interesting for me. He said, uh, like you, um, Teja, you were saying, like in the IT industry, after ten years, there could be a little bit of a decline for a candidate. But in civil, it picks up because of the experience and they because of the maturity that they have and uh, the value that they can add to the company. The reason why I said it is, see. 
as IT engineer is hired for coding or you know a technology has come, Java, some software has come, you have to adapt quickly, learn it and your energy works there. And slowly, after 10 years or 15 years of experience, if you could get into a managerial field, fine. But if you're still in an engineering genre or engineering stream, yes. there is new technology coming in, they want new people to take those pieces. Right. Yeah. But in civil engineering, the number of projects you have done is the experience, the All number right. of failures you have seen, number of mistakes you have seen. And people will respect you for that because you have seen so many issues and next time you're going to a project, you'll commit less issues and your experience will help there. All right. So it's like wine, they say that, yeah. you know, with time. Better with age. Better with age. Huh? Better with so age. so that, that, that's, that's a very interesting point that you've made. And I think I, I'll uh, end it up with the final question. Um, what is your message for the civil engineers? How should they prepare? Uh, for our viewers, you know, because a lot of the engineering grads are watching this. I'll give you a simple huh. example. See, uh, when we are getting a campus interview also, you must be thinking, you know, I'll, I'll see what are the important subjects my madam says. Okay, structural analysis, structural design, I read all about it. You should do at least one month internship seriously. Right. I'll tell you, even today's selections also, I have, I have selected people mostly on the basis of their internships or, the, or their practical experiences. Right. So, if you go one month, Hmm. If you go one month into an internship and look into things, what are all there in there? Hmm. Maybe form work is there, concrete is there, hmm. blasting is there. Read all the things which you have seen in the internship. All right. That will help you much better than your three years or four years of studies. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So your uh, internships are very crucial. Yeah. And they should actually go and do something seriously, not just go there and get a certificate. Because when uh -huh. you're going into the industry, you're going to do that only. Yes. Right. So the practical exposure is very important. Important. And regarding that, expand on. All right. You know. Okay. So that is very important. And uh, I think uh, this is helpful for the uh, kids who are watching. So thank you very much, Steja. Thank you so and, much. Yeah. And I hope this was helpful. So till we meet again, it's bye from both of us. Thank you.